I've been getting a lot of questions on how to get better at my singing monsters. So here's pretty much everything I've learned after six years of playing the game off and on. Alright, so first tip, it's gonna sound obvious, but it's probably one of the most important ones. Play the game. My Singing Monsters is probably one of the most grind-intensive games I've ever played in my life. Progress doesn't come that easily, so if you want to get good at the game, you're gonna have to strap in because it's a long ride. Tip number two is to fill your friends list with as many people as possible. The more friends, the better. The reason you're going to want to do this is because your friends can light your torches for completely 100% free. Just make sure to light their torches in return. If you're having trouble finding friends in game, you can join my Discord server and post your friend code here. This next portion of the video is going to be more focused on how to get each currency most efficiently as possible. Alright, so gold. Gold you basically use to get most things in the game, so gold is kind of important. One big thing you can be doing to get more gold is to be making sure all your monsters are at or as close as possible to 100% happiness. You can look at what makes a monster happy in its info tab. Each thing that you get makes it 25% more happier and makes you more gold. You can put the thing that makes the monster happy next to the monster, but if you buy a unity tree, then you can kind of put it anywhere, even in storage sheds so it doesn't clutter your island. This is probably obvious, but some monsters make more gold than other monsters. So if you're trying to get a lot of gold, you're gonna want the best monsters for making gold. Some people uh, take that a bit too seriously. Usually, the harder to get the monster, the more gold it makes you. But if you're just starting out, Getting as many four elements is probably your best option for gold. Food is probably one of the most simple things to get because if you have a lot of gold, you get a lot of food. It's that simple. Anytime you have extra gold, you should be spending it on making more food. So in return, you can be making more gold from feeding your monsters because higher level monsters make more gold, which means more food means more gold which means more food so it's just an infinite loop basically if you're trying to get a lot of shards then it's actually pretty easy compared to the natural islands because it's actually the less harder to get monsters that make you more shards so if you're trying to get a bunch of shards just stack up on one element on magical sanctum and ethereal island all right here's the fun one Gems. Gems are the most valuable resource in the game by far, but also one of the hardest to get. Just remember, you can always put a mini mine on basically every single island, which if you do that, that's like 20 gems a day. Also, you can make a zen farm. Zen farms are also very good at making you gems. Also get you about 20 gems also a day give or take, plus other resources. The best tip for getting a lot of gems, it's gonna sound crazy, but just don't spend your gems. I know, right? Insane. What I mean by this is that just wait the extra three hours for your breeding to finish or whatever it is. That stuff adds up over time. Relics. Relics are good because you can get the wordos with them and wordos sound cool. Plus they get you a lot of gold. There is no really good way to get relics except Amber Island, but Amber Island is kind of hard to do. Your best bet with getting relics is probably just to spin the daily wheel because uh, you can get three relics in one spin or you can even win like 40 relics maybe and that's a lot. So yeah, gambling is going to be your best bet with this one. Last but not least, keys. You can send someone a key every 7 days, but that's kind of slow and not very efficient. The best way to get keys is probably also just to gamble on the daily wheel, but the memory game is now pretty good for getting keys. You can get like three keys from one memory game, I think. I think three keys is like $15 worth of keys. So you can get a lot from the memory game. 
Alright, I hope this helps someone in some way. I'd appreciate it if you, you know, liked the video and subscribed, because this video took a while to make. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.